Now, the Minister for Petroleum, Emmanuel Amako Fibua, says government will continue to work with the oil and gas companies to ensure that they invest a percentage of their revenues towards improving the lives of the communities they work in. This is because many have complained that benefit from oil exploration and production in the western region have not benefited the residents of the six coastal districts. The minister spoke with Kweku Owusu-Pipra in the following discourse with the MD for HES Exploration, Frank Marquet, and the CEO of GNPC, Alex Mode. Implemented by GNPC and partners, we see Cosmos, for example, providing water along the coastal communities. Today, if you start from the coastal community, you see Cosmos water all over the place. You see Talo helping with a lot of different interventions, whether in water, whether in school infrastructure, labs. And you see HES has been very consistent with GMPC, providing basic educational scholarship, and it's having real impact. We are now seeing 95% of those people who took the scholarship pass into the university. It means that we've hit an F, and this scholarship is really making a difference. And that's why I think you see Awula and Nananum today celebrating this very, very important initiative. So I want to thank GMPC and HES for, for this effort. We always want to be a good neighbor in the communities where we work. And so sometimes, uh, sometimes we're, we're fortunate and, and we make big discoveries and large production. But either way, sometimes we have to leave later, but either way we want to be able to make a contribution to the communities where we operate. Okay? And that's why we wholeheartedly support the scholarship program with GMPC. Well, I just wanted to add to what my minister was saying and what Frank was saying. Uh, I think the basis is forming a good relationship at the beginning when we are negotiating with them. We have to understand our partners to understand what exactly they want to do in the country. We also have to let them know what is important to the community that we're working with. And that is why HES and GMPC's relationship has been one that has been very fruitful. Um, like I said, we're working to ensure that we can start production very shortly. And uh, I think that um, working with HES and the minister to get the POD signed possibly next year, uh, we'll start a very long and fruitful relationship and we'll be seeing much, much more being done in education and uh, health and other areas. Just to hear news, there's Conjo News on Morty TV. Some news coming in is that a court has thrown out the case involving the flag bearer of the NDP, Nana Konedu Ajiman Rawlings. Let's go to Majo Online and read more from that. We, we don't have that displayed yet, but the news is that the court has thrown out Nana Konedu Ajiman Rawlings' case that he, she filed at the, at the court against the Electoral Commission on her disqualification. You remember that the NDP is part of the 12 political parties that have been disqualified by the Electoral Commission uh, from contesting in this year's presidential elections. And of course, Konedu was also disqualified for breaching sections of the CI-94, the regulation for this year's polls. And she took the case to court. She and her lawyers took the case to court, you know, uh, challenging why she had been disqualified and of course you can go to majoronline.com and there will be more of this story on majoronline.com more details from there but over here on tv we'll also bring you more in our subsequent bulletin <laughs>